let us have a look at the various titanium ossicular reconstruction processes. When there is a defect of the long process of incus, the long process of incus as you know descends down, turns into the lenticular process and then attaches to the head of stapes. There is a small vessel that runs through it and when there is a virulent infection that leads to avascular necrosis of this joint and this is the most common ossicular defect. When there is a defect of this nature, how do you bridge it? This is the angular titanium processes to bridge the incudostapedial joint. That is the angular titanium processes. This clips onto the incus stub and this clips onto the stapedal head. This is the angular titanium processes. These processes are designed to reconnect the incus and stapes and bridge the incudus stapedal joint via two mechanisms. The Kurtz angular clip offers standardized coupling to the stapes head via a spring loaded clip design. The angular pluster offers secure coupling via the more traditional bell shaped design. This is the bell shaped design whereas the angular pluster offers a secure coupling. In both cases the two titanium bands are crimped to the remaining incus this one and stable over many years. I repeat, in both cases the two titanium bands that you see here are crimped to the remaining incus, a method that has been proven to be consistent and stable over many years. Both implants offer a neutrally placed solution for these kind of cases and can also be draped by cartilage laterally to help protect the tympanic membrane. This is Kurt's angular clip and angular pluster processes. If the incus is totally absent, that we have only the malleus remnant and the stapes, then a partial ossicular replacement process or a PORP is inserted titanium between the tympanic membrane and the drum remnant and this may connect with the remnant of the malleus. So this is the partial ossicular replacement processes. This clips onto the stapedial suprastructure and this sits underneath the tympanic membrane or with the malleus remnant. The Kurtz clip partial Dresden type titanium processes, one of the key features of which is the ability to provide the standardized coupling to the stapedal head. This is the stapedal head and the standardized coupling to the stapedal head. Kurtz once again pioneered this kind of safety feature and for over a decade it has remained the market leader. The spring loaded clip offers a gentle but secure fit onto the stapedal head. This is particularly important during cases where more extensive eardrum reconstruction is required. When the stapedal suprastructure as you note is completely absent and only the foot plate is remaining with an absent incus then a total ossicular replacement process is employed. It connects the malleus handle with the stapedal foot plate. This is a total ossicular replacement process. As you see it here, this sits on the foot plate and this connects with the malleus. The Kurtz Dusseldorf type processes have stood the test of time. For every 20 years, they have helped to successfully reconstruct the ossicular chain. This implant has helped set the standards that have been used with the development of newer designs. Its excellent weight balance helps the surgeon achieve secure intraoperative positioning of the processes while the stem of both the partial and aerial implants have proven reliable for many years around the world. The Kurtz Dusseldorf type processes. 
the curds mnp which stands for malleus notch processes for those surgeons who want to preserve the malleus and help its stable coupling to the implant the curds malleus notch processes was developed the malleus notch processes concave recess helps to facilitate the simultaneous contact between the malleus handle and the tympanic membrane i repeat again the concave recess helps to facilitate simultaneous contact between the malleus handle and the tympanic membrane thereby providing good stability the slimmer profile and fenestrated head plate also provides good placement visibility during surgery the curds malleus notch processes the curds titanium malleus notch processes the curds connector in total ossicular construction reconstruction movement of the tympanic membrane can alter the position of the aerial implant on the stepedial foot plate this risk can be reduced with the omega connector further achieving the optimal position of the implant onto the stepedial foot plate can be made a lot easier thanks to this unique implant with sufficient foot plate access the curds omega connector increases the medial surface contact of the total processes furthermore the micro ball joint connects with the stem of the total processes allowing for a variety of angles between the head plate and the tympanic membrane without the need to implant manipulations the omega connector creates a modular system for all curds total processes range this is the curds omega connector this sits on the stepedial foot plate permitting thereby articulation bit- between various processes and the foot plate head the curds omega connector can be used with curds total ossicular processes with a circular hollow stem this is got a circular hollow stem which sits on the ball shaped structure here the curds omega connector in otosclerosis the ankylosed stapes as you see here is replaced by a piston processes which is attached to the incus long process and its piston inserted into the inner ear perilymph through a perforation a stepidotomy in the stepidal foot plate the curds matrix stapes processes the size and geometry of the incus can vary enormously from person to person and this can present a challenge when it comes to creating a stable but gentle coupling between the implant and the incus curds has taken on this challenge and produced the matrix stapes processes this is called the curds matrix stapes processes the longitudinal perforations in the broad band of the loop ensures that it is highly malleable and easy to gently model around the long process of incus made from titanium the curds soft clip stapes processes the curds soft clip provides standardized coupling to the long process of incus without the need for crimping the flexible band gently attaches with minimal force the wide band allows for even distribution of surface tension to help reduce the risk of necrosis whilst the contact free zones contribute to continuous vascular supply the contact zones run laterally and medially in the direction of the acoustic signal to optimize acoustic transmission the insertion can be aided by the use of the soft clip hook the curd soft clip stapes processes this is the curd soft clip stapes processes now how do we push the incus handle into this is by the soft clip hook the incus is placed here and by gentle pressure here it clips on to the long process of incus the curds clip mvp stapes processes designed for malleus to foot plate revision surgery the curds clip pist- piston mvp offering the proven benefits of the clip design for standardized coupling along with good stability post surgery the extra dimensions and integrated ball joint help to simplify the complicated off axis positioning of such an implant further the ball joint that remains stable allows for the piston to be centered in the fenestration to help reduce tangential friction titanium made from pure titanium the diameter is 0.4 to 0.6 and the band loop width 0.25 the length 
5 to 6.5 millimeters in 0.25 increments the kurtz clip piston mvp stapes processes this is the kurtz clip piston mvp stapes processes the various dimensions in which it comes here we have an overall overview of the various titanium middle layer ossicular reconstruction processes